every time I look at family albums with pictures of holidays when I was still very little, I would notice quickly that I was always happiest when I had a huge ball of ice cream in front of me. And that is still the case today. If you give me some ice cream, you're gonna make me very happy. However, that ice cream better be a raw vegan one, exactly like the one I'm making today. No soy in it, no dairy products and no white sugar. Hello and welcome to Rotopia. Thank you so much for joining me today. So whether you love ice cream or you want to make it for somebody you love, for example for your kids, this is an amazing recipe. Number one, you don't need any um, ice cream maker, you just need a blender and a freezer. And secondly, you can get all the ingredients in your local supermarket. Okay, this recipe is going to be a bit more exotic because I'm adding black sesame to make black sesame ice cream. But if you want to keep it simple, you just omit the sesame and you still have an amazing ice cream for hot days, cold days or whenever you just feel like ice cream. Ingredients are the following. You need a banana. For sweetening I use dates. You could also use agave nectar or coconut syrup for example. Sesame. I'm adding ginger. That's optional. You don't need to add that. A bit of vanilla. Tiger nuts and water. Now instead of tiger nuts and water you could also use cashew nuts and water or simply use almond milk. my ice cream and it is super creamy and really really nice. I have to say though what can happen is that if you don't stir the ice cream while it's freezing it could become quite hard like really rock solid if your freezer is very strong. In that case all you need to do is put the container in a larger container that is filled with hot water because like that it will start to thaw and you will be able to just um, flip the container and get that block of ice out easily. And then you just chop it into cubes with a good knife and put it back into your blender and blend it up once more. And like that it will be super creamy. Once it's blended up you put it back into your container, put a bit of pressure on it and then scoop it out and get scoops just like this. And now for the taste test. So good. Mm. To me it tastes a little bit like poppy seed, maybe also because it's black and, and I just associate black with poppy seed, but it's, it's absolutely delicious, I really gotta say. And I think that um, color of the persimmon makes the whole thing look even prettier. That's how easy ice cream is. And now I would like to know from you, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Is it just one specific one? Or maybe do you have like a combination of two or three? Or is it more like me? Um, my favorite ice cream is pistachio, nougat, hazelnut, vanilla, raspberry, strawberry not so much, but it's okay too. <laughs> Some apricot, mango of course, pistachio, um, what else would there be? Black sesame, poppy seed. Stracciatella, whatever, as long as it's ice cream. <laughs> let me know by commenting underneath and also let me know if you have suggestions on what video I could create next, be it a raw food recipe or some information on raw food in general or holistic well-being. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, then please subscribe to my channel and if you want to get information that I only share in my emails, come on over to rotopia.com and sign up for my newsletter. You will also find the exact recipe with the ingredients and preparation and so on on rotopia.com. The link is also underneath in the information box. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Rotopia. Bye!